Material instancing in Unreal Engine is used to change the appearance of a material without incurring an expensive recompilation of the material. Whereas a typical material cannot be changed without recompiling. Something that must happen prior to gameplay. A parameterized material can be edited in a material instance without such recompilation. This has numerous workflow advantages, and can improve material performance. Certain types of instanced materials can even change during gameplay in response to in-game events. This allows tremendous visual flexibility in your artistic elements. To achieve this flexibility, material instancing uses a concept called inheritance. The properties of the parent material are passed to its children. Properties that are designated as parameters in the parent material are exposed to artists in the material instance editor. The relationship between materials and material instances is a hierarchical parent-child relationship. A material instance inherits all of its attributes from the parent, or master, material. For example, this is the material graph for one of the chair props found in the starter content. Any material instances created from M underscore chair inherit all the attributes from the graph shown above. Because they inherit their attributes from the parent, newly created material instances appear identical to the parent material when applied to objects in the level. In the image, the chair on the far left has the parent material applied while the right side three chairs use unaltered material instances. Using material instances, you can create numerous variations from a single base material. Creating material instances is a two-step process. First create a parameterized material that, you will use as the parent material for your instances. And, the next step is to create a material instance constant in the content browser. You can then customize the material in the material instance editor. To make material attributes editable in a material instance, you must designate certain attributes as parameters by using parameter nodes instead of regular material expressions. Hold the S key and left click in the material graph to place a scalar parameter. A scalar parameter is the parameterized version of a constant and contains a single numeric value. Name the parameter roughness and connect it to the corresponding material input. Now let's check. What is default value and value range? If you want to set a default value for the parameter or limit the value range, you can do so in the details panel. For example, the roughness input accepts a value from 0 to 1. Select the roughness parameter and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the node. Rename the second scalar parameter metallic and connect it to the appropriate input. Your graph should now look like this. For the sake of demonstration, place a constant 3 vector node in your material graph. This is a standard that is non-parameterized material expression, which is often used to define the base color of a material. To convert this node into a parameter, right-click the node and choose Convert to Parameter from the contextual menu. Remember to give the parameter a unique, descriptive name like base color. You can change the color in the default value field shown above, or you can double-click the base color node to open the color picker. You cannot parameterize every material node in Unreal Engine, but the Convert to Parameter option is available from the right-click menu for any material expression that can be parameterized. Let's see how we can parameterize material example. Your material graph should now contain a vector parameter plugged into base color and two scalar parameters plugged into the metallic and roughness inputs. These three parameters will allow you to change the color, roughness, and metallic properties of the material once you create a material instance. Click apply in the upper left corner of the material editor to compile the material and then click save. Now let's create a material instance. Now that, you have a simple parameterized material, you can create material instances and, customize them in the material instance editor. To create a material instance, right right click your material in the content browser and, choose create material instance from the menu. Your material instance will derive its name from the material that, 
you are using to create it. You can rename the material instance by selecting it and pressing F2 or by single clicking the name field. Let's see how to editing a material instance. Double click the material instance in the content browser to open the material instance editor. The material instance editor is the interface where you can customize material parameters to produce different looking variations of your parent material. Now see how to adjust the material parameters. Material parameters are found in the details panel on the right side of the material instance editor. Note that these parameters take their names from the parameter nodes in your original material graph. Use the following steps to edit a parameter. First place a check in the box next to the parameter to enable it for editing. Next step is to type a new value in the field or left click and drag to slide the value up and down. For vector parameters, left click the color swatch to activate the color picker. And lastly to reset a parameter to its default value, click the arrow icon pictured here. As you adjust parameters, the material preview will update in real time in the material instance editor, and, in the level if the material is currently applied to any actors. Note that, if you change the parent material it can completely change the appearance and, properties of the material instance. The parameters you were using before may no longer be available in the new parent. So the material instancing is a powerful tool that you can use across all aspects of your project. From helping to add some variation to weapons and props, to helping artists make better use of available materials, material instances can help to streamline and unify how materials are created and used in your project. Hope this video helps you to initiate your journey into the creative world of Unreal Engine. Please like this video if you find it helpful and informative, and subscribe to our channel for newer updates and game development tutorials. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.